Well, hello. So y'all know, um, I've been wearing wigs forever, okay? I don't even know how many wig reviews I've done on this channel alone, but I've done a lot. I have given away a, a lot of wigs, and uh, I have a giant overstuffed wig drawer that I need to work on. I need to give those wigs away. That's been my protective style of choice. Um, ever since uh, I big chopped and I was a little freaked out about my short hair that I've never had before, um, this new texture sprouting out of my scalp, didn't know what to do. So what I did was I bought a bunch of products. Anything that said it would give me curls basically was in my cabinet. I used them all on my head and then I hated it so I covered it up with a wig. Uh, so I've been wearing wigs for about three years off and on since I started my hair journey. It started in 2010. That's my big job. Um, so yeah, I have been using uh, wigs as my protective style. It's my protective style of choice because it is easy. You corner your hair, put a wig cap on, slap that boot on, and you're good to go. It doesn't matter if it's rain or shine. You put a wig on. But um, this summer, I was a lot more active than I have been in years. Uh, so I was going to the pool every day with my kids and we were just having a great time and I just really realized quickly that wigs really don't uh, mix well with beach, water, and or sand. Um, so I decided that I was going to give the wigs a break. And I mean for real this time. Uh, so I started wearing my own hair out. And I shook. So I started wearing my hair out more. Now usually what I would do is I would deep condition my hair after I shampooed it. Uh, and after I detangled and then I would curl my hair up and then I would apply oils and then wear my wig cap only when I wore my wigs. Um, if I was going to sleep, uh, of course I wasn't wearing any wig cap. I would wear my satin bonnet and I would go to sleep and I did that every single time in preparation for wig wearing. Um, so when I started wearing my own natural hair out more often this summer, uh, I was exercising a lot. So I really wasn't into doing all the styles. I was just wearing it back in a poof uh, because I needed no muss, no fuss. I wanted to get in and out. Didn't have time to do my hair for real, for real. It wasn't until a few months ago that uh, I decided I was gonna flat on my hair and do a lunch check. And I have no video, nor do I have a photo from that. I am so sorry. I was not thinking about it, honestly. Um, but uh, so I did a flat iron and I did a flat iron. I flat ironed my hair. And it was lovely, it was shiny, it was gleamy, it was beautiful. And I was staring in over there, because that's where my mirror is. And I was standing in the mirror and I saw the reflection of the light on my scalp in places I should not be able to see my scalp, okay? So this whole area, like ramping through here, my edges and everything, um, was very thin. And it was the first time I noticed it. Uh, so I freaked out, of course. <laughs> um, I didn't know if it was due to stress. I noticed that the Denman had a lot more hair left over after I finished detangling it, but I didn't really think too much of it to like, or, you know, do that thing that Kimmy Tube did that every time she detangled her hair and she, you know, there's a hairball from this time, there's a hairball from this time, just to double check. Or did, was that her that did it? Anyway, I did not scientifically methodize uh, my nap that came out of my head. I mean, I've been on this hair journey um, for four years, natural, and then before then, I was stretching my hair and bagging it and reading everything that I could on the threads and stuff like that. The beginning of this year was, I if one nobody think about my hair, okay? I wasn't, honestly. And about that, um, thank you everybody so much for the support that y'all have given me. I, you know, it's like such an outpouring. Um, I'll tell you a funny story. Uh, I really wasn't gonna upload that video. Um, I thought it was just, yeah, I just wasn't going to do it. It was just maybe something I needed to do to just, you know, get it out there. Um, but, you know, something told me, just go ahead and upload it. And uh, <laughs> uh, after it had finished processing it, and after my video went live, and I filled in the description box, and I put a title on it, you know, a couple minutes went by, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'll take that down. Um, so I went to go click. And my screen was frozen. I was like, what's going on? So I turned my computer off and on, and then my internet was out. I thought it was the Wi Fi. I came in here, checked the Wi Fi. Wi Fi was out. It was raining that day, and uh, I guess the storm knocked out um, internet for the block. And we had to call Comcast, and they took a couple of hours. But by the time um, the internet was back on, I had, you know, I had peace about the video. So uh, it wasn't going to be uploaded, but I did. I'm glad I did because I, I mean, I. 
just amazing. Confirmation. But I digress. Back when I first started, <laughs> um, when you first start growing your hair out, you want your hair to grow, man. You want to see it long. So you like, there's so many uh, hair growth aids that are on the different forums. If you type in, how do I make my natural hair grow? You would, it'll pop up and you'll be bombarded by it. You know, so it was funny. I came across some of those old threads that I just lived for, like the Megatech Rebuilder and the Be My Growth Serum and the Mose Growth Oil from Naturality, like way back in the day. Um, but yeah, so it was funny uh, going over some of those. But one one thing that stuck out for me is the natural uh, route, which is oils. And I don't care who you are, if you're doing any kind of research about hair thinning or hair loss or growth challenge or edges challenge, because the edges got snatched off. Jamaican black castor oil, okay? Everybody will tell you, use this stuff. Um, I'm not really sure how Jamaican black castor oil, or any castor oil for that matter, can make your hair thicker. I understand that castor oil is a very thick, viscous oil, and when you apply castor oil to your own strands, you know, it can kind of have the feeling that it's thicker. I don't know if it's actually increasing the size of the hair shaft. Okay. I'm guessing it helps prevent breakage so your hair grows longer and then with the fill of the castor oil makes your hair feel thicker. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Uh, but I picked up the Jamaican black castor oil because I was like, you know what? I could use everything. Anything and everything. I also picked up some peppermint oil um, to stimulate my scalp along with doing scalp massages. I was gonna get sulfur but I was like, no because sulfur is sometimes can have a very unpleasant odor that will seep in at everything, girl. It'll seep into your pillow sheets, your satin bonnets, oh yeah. Um, and then I got some rosemary for a preservative. I think that's what it's for. I also picked up some burdock oil, and I got the kind that came with nettle oil because by that time I had too much stuff in my shopping cart and I realized I need to put some of this stuff back and I need to combine and consolidate. The nettle extract cleanses and stimulates hair scalp. Its natural components help to increase blood circulation in the scalp, contributing to hair bulb oxygenation, just in case that was a reason why your hair fell out in the first place. I think mine was due to stress and uh, some anxiety. But anyway, I took all of those lovely ingredients and I put them in one of these little nozzle bottles that I got from Salers. Uh, and I was determined to be consistent because Lord knows I'm not consistent at all um, with this because I really want my hair back because it meant so much to me to have thick full of hair after dedicating so much of my re so much of my spare time to you know my hobby of hair growth. Uh, after every night, um, whether I was going to wash my hair or not, I put this on the areas that I felt I had the worst problems with, like right up in here, and I put some right here, and I put some a whole lot in the back, <laughs> and while I was watching my shows, I just sit there and I just massage my scalp. And not only is it calming and relaxing, you are um, distributing the oil more evenly across your scalp, and you're stimulating your scalp, which brings blood to the surface of the scalp, which brings oxygen, which brings oxygenation to the hair bulbs so that's what I have been doing and I've done that for a month and I have definitely already seen a lot of growth and I say that to women who are experiencing thinness from their edges from traction alopecia from stress um all that stuff I mean when I show you I'm gonna show you some pictures when I show you what the back of my hair looks like, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, it looked like Moses parted your hair, girl. Um, but the best thing about all these natural uh, hair remedies is that if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and you can go on to something stronger. Um, instead of using chemicals right off the bat, which can not work and make you even more bold. So how about that? So that's what I've been doing. Um, and also for my edges, I have not used any brushes. Usually I don't use brushes on my edges anyway because uh, who's trying to have their hair slick? My hair is kinky and I got roots to match, okay? It's not a big deal. But um, on the rare occasion that I actually care about what my edges look like, I use this Curls Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste and I actually prefer this over, and trust me, I've used them all. Hicks Edges Transformation, um, Ors uh, Edge Control, 
um, the Cream of Nature Argon Oil Edge thingy. I, I like this one the best because it doesn't, I mean, it, it, it is the same premise as the rest of them, but it doesn't leave residue in my hair and I can twist my hair up the next day and use this the next day and not see those little flakes. You know what I'm talking about. Hey, sometimes that edge control can leave your hair all types of ashy and gunky and gross. But that's what I've been doing. And here's the pictures. That's my edges. I mean, I know it's not a, like, like a lot of growth, but it's enough that I'm just like, okay, you can calm down now, stop freaking out. And that's back of my head. Yes, I was wearing ponytails. Yes, um, I'm natural and it's a lot going on in the back of my hair. And not all of it was straight. Sometimes my roots, you know, they revolt and they don't want to get with the program. That's fine. Um, but anyway, so I hopefully I will be able to um, tell you guys uh, about how much more thick and healthy my hair is come December because let me tell you something. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later.